Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you very much for spending time watching this video. My last video, one of my last videos was um, about Onshape uh, AutoCAD alternative inside the browser and there is obviously Android app. If you watched that video, um, you know that Android app wasn't really performing that well, but the browser version was working perfectly. And as soon as the video went public, uh, was published, one of my viewers left me a comment with a couple of links or a couple of suggestions what I should try next. And one of the one of the apps on one of the websites they suggested is Free DC, 3D modeling app. Basically, this is a web-based um, 3D modeling. This is software. So. Um, I'll show you right now a different way. In the previous video, I was showing you an app first, then a web, a web page. I think with this one, I'll show you the web page first. And then we're going to start, uh, or we're going to finish with the app. So here we are. If I click F11, let's go full screen. So what you see right now, it is um, the web version of, the, of that app. And I start with the with the uh, square. So right now, let me put back. So uh, I move around, uh, click left mouse button. You click somewhere outside instead of the arrows, but somewhere outside you can zoom around. Right mouse is sort of panned, where wheels and um, mouse wheel works fit perfectly up and down. So you zoom in, zoom out. So let's basically look around and create something. So you start with a cube. You have a couple options. You can obviously change the, the cube color. Let's change to something easy to see. White. Okay, let's move in the center. So um, I played around a bit with this and I, I roughly know what I can do. So you can obviously add some uh, cube, uh, pyramid, uh, prism, prism, to do, do, do cylinder. Let's add the cylinder. So cylinder basically goes inside the cube. So now by using arrows, so I'm going to take out a bit. So this is uh, 50. So let's go to 100. It means halfway up. So that should be halfway up. So right now, cylinder inside the cube. I'm going to go to tools and subtract. And now delete the cylinder. So as you can see, I made sort of like a, a cylinder shape inside there. Next thing, what I can do, let's go and try another shape. Let's do with the pyramid and now I need to move the pyramid to there. So sadly, you can't see what is behind my face, but there is a three buttons. One of them is basically allows you to move the shape left, right, basically in, uh, against free axis. So where is the zero? Am I am I right here? Uh, yes, so I'm in line. The next button is basically does this. So you make it as if uh, stretch or basically stretch against X, Y, and Z axis. And the last button is basically, as you can see, I can spin in any direction that I want. So right now, let's go to tools. Let's go delete that, because I want to start with fresh one. So let's do with prism. So I'm gonna go this way. Now I'm gonna use this tool to rotate. Then this tool to bring inside tools and subtract and then tools delete so now i made s looks like a hole so again let's actually try to uh, no I, <laughs> I was planning to actually go inside for this anyway that's what you can do inside the browser uh, move around and create all, all shape and sizes and change colors and etc so this is a web based software let's say for some reason your deck station you don't have the internet connection no worries there is an app for that so free dc.io if i launch the app and it's uh, opening what you see is literally what you just saw in the browser but literally it's the same this is the app and you can do the same thing so obviously you, you see it's got well in-app purchases so you can had a different um, layouts, but I would say the uh, the responsiveness, the app is better than a website. So let's quickly, that's that's fine. Let's add the, another shape. Um, import no. Um, 
Taurus. Let's add this one. So we're gonna we're gonna just in slide just halfway, and we're gonna extrude, subtract. Okay. Delete that one. So I made, as you can see, it's like a. Oh, in this one. In this one, you can actually go. Go through all your model. Oh no. <laughs> Anyway, this is a, a quick if well, I'm not I'm I don't see this to be used by professionals or something the, this app and the web based uh, software of this uh, can be used basically by somebody who who just in starting creating something like a 3D modeling and etc. This is a, a nice play around to start at least mocking up the your what you want to create instead of just going and spending uh, a lot and a lot of money to buying a software just to thinking is that is that definitely for you I'm just gonna do this uh, oops I, I done the wrong one I need to slide this way okay I'm, I'm just gonna mess around let's add the um, to do to do uh, cylinder let's add the cylinder Okay, uh, let's go this way. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, let's move in, subtract, delete. Here we go, masterpiece. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is a um, free DC. Uh, available on Dex, well, available in Android, but uh, runs perfectly on Dex Station. There is a web-based um, alternative to this one, but I would say that the actual app is much better to be used on a Dex than a website, because this feels more responsiveness, and more responsive to to the inputs. And another thing, I'm not sure if this actually has any any keyboard shortcuts. I'm just pressing randomly all the keyboard keys. No, no keyboard. Function, uh, again, you can go save, load, import, uh, and all the good stuff. What's this? Offline mode. Yes, offline mode. High quality. Yes, yes. System measurements. Millimeters. Inches. Millimeters. Snap the grid. Yes. And uh, all good stuff. All good stuff available for you to play around in this free DC.io app. Well, nothing else to say about this one. Um by the way thank you very much for who suggested this for me to try very very awesome app like i said it's just for somebody who's just started and want to see what 3d modeling actually is instead of going spending money or downloading 3d blend or blender or something like that and just trying to figure out this is a very very good start if somebody wants to create some masterpiece obviously if i'll spend half an hour or hour on this program i might create something amazing you never know that's it pretty much that's it uh thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video like always leave your suggestions comment section below or find me on subreddit and i'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching and goodbye